everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about faith and trusting in God this is so important for every single believer whether you're new whether you're old you'll all be able to relate to this I'm just gonna give you all some things that I know about it from my walk and my experiences so let's start actually begin talking about trusting in God I want us to kind of bring it to our own level think about a person that you trust trust with people is built on history it's built on consistently in the past what have you shown me have you come through for me have you been the person that keeps all of my secrets what have you shown me so trust is built on consistent so if we bring this back to God we can see that we can trust God because he's consistent the Bible says that he doesn't change there's no shadow of turning in him there's no variance he's going to stay the same he's the same yesterday today and forevermore right so God we should trust him able to trust him it's not always easy sometimes we get in situations where we kind of like wonder like dang you know is God gonna come through for me in this situation this situation right here because this one look kind of difficult Jesus so what happens is we need to look to our experiences now this is a beautiful thing about God because the Bible says that I was once young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Apply that to yourself. Have you ever had a situation where God did not come through for you? Ever. Ever. Seriously. Because I really thought about the things that I've been through in my life and it's, it's been a lot of things. But God has always come through for me. Every single time, even if it seemed like he didn't come, for, come through for me at that moment, eventually in the by and by, I understood that he came through like, for me. Just, just this revelation of God never changing. God, he doesn't fail. It says that he'll never leave us and he'll never forsake us. And he promises these things and it's true. We should look to our experiences, our past experiences, to trust him for the things right now. Because really what God's trying to do is he's trying to build our relationship with him. And the more we trust God, the better our relationship with him will be. The better our faith will be. I think about pastors and I think about their testimonies and the things that they've been through. And they have these great, great swelling testimonies about how they used to be homeless, how they used to be on drugs, how they used to, you know, just all these really huge things. And how their faith is so great and they're such an example to people. It's because they've learned to trust God in these huge situations and so that matches with their faith and trust is built on history now if I look at the history of God the perfect place to look other than my personal experiences with God is the Bible <laughs> duh so we can look in the Bible look at the stories look at the people what were they experiencing what were they going through what was something that they were trusting God for because in every single story in this book you can find something that people were trusting God for so again this just reiterates the importance of us reading our word reading our Bible it talks about having the faith of a mustard seed just this little bitty ounce of faith and he says, you know, if you just have this little bitty mustard seed faith that you can move mountains into the sea. So these big things that we're trying to believe God for, we feel, you know, I have to have all this great faith. I have to have this great trust in God. But he's saying, no, if you can just take the little bit of faith that you had in these situations in the past, if you can believe me for what you've already been through, you can take that mustard seed of faith. You can move this big mountain right now that you're facing, but you have to take it and you have to apply it. You have to stay focused on God. You have to read the word of God to understand and know who God is. The Bible says that we can't please God unless we believe him. Why would I pray to a God? Why would I trust in a God that I don't even believe can do what I'm asking him to do? You know what I mean? Like, no. So maybe right now you're in a situation and you're really trying to trust God and, you know, you're praying, you're asking the Lord for help, but essentially you're trying to build trust in God. He wants you to build trust in him because the more you trust him, the greater your faith will be. Faith, trusting in God, is more than Hebrews 11 and 1. Yes, we know faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, but it's so much more to this scripture. So, what is faith and trusting in God going to get us? Well, here it says that the elders obtained a good report. A good report, okay? Think about those people who have health issues. They obtained a good report by faith. 
What else does it say? It says Enoch was translated. Go read the story. Enoch never died. And it's because he trusted and believed in God. What else does it say? It says that Noah prepared an ark. He moved with fear. He prepared an ark. He did something that didn't make any sense. And he survived because he trusted in God. Now let's go ahead and jump down to 33. Who faith, who by faith subdued kingdoms. They tore kingdoms down because they trusted in God. Wrought righteousness. They were righteous. It says they obtained promises because they trusted in God. They stopped the mouth of lions. Come on now. They quenched the violence of fire. They escaped the edge of the sword. They was protected. It also says that out of weakness, they were made strong because they trusted in God. They waxed valiant or they were victorious in fight or in battle. These people won. They received their dead being raised. This is what we get when we trust God. So I'm telling you all, read this Bible because it's so much in here. Trust God. Trust God, y'all. I love y'all. I see y'all next week. Next week, we're going to talk about, you know, this week we talked about God, us trusting God. But can God trust you? All right, y'all. See ya.